Alright, hey guys, and welcome to another video. Um, Hong Kong is known for being a very good location for photography, and as you see behind me, we've got a very good backdrop. Beautiful coastline here. So today's video is going to be about the top five locations to do some photography in Hong Kong. And this first location that I'm at is um, just a park between an area called Sai Wan Ho and Quarry Bay, which is this way. And as you can see, the best time to come here is at sunset. Well, it's very beautiful this way. But also, if you go down here, you can uh, see some junk ships coming up. Junk ships are like these little uh, traditional boats that just carry goods around Hong Kong. And they're quite nice to photograph. Uh, I wish I could show you one now, but there, there are none in the harbour at the moment, as you can see. But there's like a cool looking old ship over there. So, I'll bring up the, the map now. This is how you can get to this area. Um, you can get the MTR to Sai Wan Ho or to Quarry Bay, and then just walk here to by the coast. But yeah, this is number five, and I'll bring up some shots now of this location. Enjoy. Anyway, this is number five, the top five locations in Hong Kong to shoot photography. Just remember to come here at sunset and the location is Sai Wan Ho slash Quarry Bay Park. Anyway, we'll go to the next location. Alright, as you saw, I got some great shots there at location 5. I'm going to be on my way to location number 4 now. Um, but I have sort of a runner-up in the middle. And also it was great in that last spot. I was walking under a, an underbridge when the sun was setting and got some great shots there. So that was pretty, pretty good as well. to location number four. Okay, and here I am at location 4.5. It's not really officially on the list because it's not a location. It's a moving tram. But um, up here you can get some really cool shots. Uh, it's got a good vantage point. Especially if you come up onto the second level and try and go towards the front or at the back behind me. Um, unfortunately, I got it at kind of a busy time, so those spots aren't free. But uh, still, anywhere up here is good to shoot. Location number four. You're probably wondering why is this area so busy. Well, this is Causeway Bay. Um, it's like one of the main shopping areas in Hong Kong. And this area is great because you've got like all these neon lights around here. Uh, if you come over this way, you can see it from up here. There's even um, a giant ass billboard. You can see it uh, up through there come this way a bit. But yeah, as you see, so many uh, bright neon lights. This is really great for street photography, but of course it's very, very loud around here. I hope you're picking up the audio okay. Okay, up in front of me right now is what they call the Sogo Crossing. It's kind of similar to the Shibu Crossing in Tokyo, but uh, if you look in front of me, we got like this giant ass billboard, which is pretty cool. And uh, many other neon lights all around here. I'm gonna go down that way where all the bright lights are. But um, this area is very easy to get to. If you already know Hong Kong, you already know Causeway Bay. Um, but I'll put in a map up now showing how to get here. And uh, yeah, let's walk in here and get some good shots. Now 
Now one of the best areas to come to in Causeway Bay, if you come here, is Lockhart Road. Lockhart Road is, is kind of infamous for some other reasons, um, which you'll know if you come to Hong Kong. But uh, if you look down here, many cool neon lights. Very good for photography. I'll show you some shots you can get here right now. Another good idea if you're in the area of Causeway Bay, um, try some local Cantonese cuisine or Hong Kong cuisine. I've got here some uh, siu mai, which is a little bit like surumi if you're from New Zealand. It's kind of like a fish ball, um, fishy sort of mashup kind of thing. But I think it tastes really good, especially if you get some sauce. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with some of the shots from location number four, Causeway Bay. I'm just gonna enjoy my seal mine now, and then we'll go to location number three. at location number three. Uh, this area I'm in is called Mongkok. It's pretty easy to get here. You just take uh, the red line, get off at of exit D. That's the best one to get to. And you end up here with all these great lights and stuff. This area is really good because there's just so much going on. You can pretty much just pick any street corner, any seat, and just sit there and take good photos. Um, as you see, we have so many lights around and everything and this is actually the most condensed area of the world in terms of population so the amount of people living here is the most in the world that means you're just going to see lots of stuff going on and you won't even have to move around much um, you've also got the market up here to my right the ladies market just walk up here a bit Oh. Oh, so many people. Uh, yeah, the ladies market is up this way. And also this is a great area to come if you want to buy a camera or buy some accessories for your camera. There's a place called Sim City. Look it up, Sim City Hong Kong. And also just lots of camera shops. Um, I bought my new camera here and also this one I'm filming on. And very good prices but uh, I'll turn you around again. Here we have the ladies market. So I'll bring up some shots now of this area and hopefully we'll get some good ones. Some really good shots here in uh, Mong Kok. Uh, one really good spot to come to, by the way, if you just come out of exit D over here from uh, the subway, you can see in front of that is um, all the neon signs up here. So even when you first come out of the MTR, that's that's a good spot location right there. Oh crap, almost got run over. And even up here, it's this sick as neon sign. Virginia Hotel. Anyway, let's move on to the next location. Alright guys, and here we are at the number two spot for photography in Hong Kong. It's actually another moving thing. It's the Star Ferry, but you have to get a particular route. Get, um, TST, where we just came from, to Wan Chai, and if you do that, you can get a good view of all these epic buildings here. I really never get sick of this view, and you can definitely get some excellent shots if you take this boat over to Wan Chai. Uh, here are some shots I got from this trip. I think 
this is probably one of the best, if not the best view in Hong Kong. Maybe my number one is better, but um, for nighttime, this is definitely the best. Uh, now we'll go back to the future a little bit for my number one spot, as I filmed it a couple of days ago. Here we go. All right, and here we are at the final spot. You're probably wondering, why is it daytime? Well, I filmed the number one spot first because this spot actually looks better in the daytime or actually at sunset. So we'll uh, go over here. Well, I'll just turn this thing around. As you can see, the sun's just starting to set. Um, this place is called Jardine's Lookout and I'll post a map of how to get here now. Um, this is actually just up behind my house and it's kind of a rival to the peak which is over there covered in the fog. The problem with the peak is uh, it often does get covered in fog and it's too busy. Whereas up here only me and this dude up there doing some uh, tripod photography. But um, yeah this is great you can see the IFC on this side on Kowloon Island and then over here you can see the ICC on Kowloon side and then right down the middle we've got this great sunset which I'm about to start taking pictures of. So um, here are some pictures now of this spot and um, feel free to pause the video back a little bit to see how to get here. Okay guys, I just got back home. Uh, I'm very tired now, as you can see. Probably look a bit sweaty and shit. But um, there it is, the top five photography locations in Hong Kong. Let me know what you thought of the locations, or uh, if I missed any out that you like, or which ones you would most be excited to see. And I'm also looking for some feedback um, around my new video gear. Do you think the video quality has improved, or uh, what else should I work on? Um, yeah, let me know. Hopefully the new camera is producing some good video, but yeah, I'll check out once I edit it and look at these photos now. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and please smash that subscribe button, leave a comment with what you think, and also smash that like button. Thank you for watching. Yes.